hi everyone welcome back to count on us today's video is about 10 technical interview questions and best answers to the role of accounts payable analyst let's dive into the video explain the difference between two-way and three-way matching when would you use each method so the answer would be two-way matching involves comparing invoices to purchase order only while three-way matching adds the step of comparing to receiving documents two-way is used for standard or normal purchases while three-way is employed for critical or high-value transactions how do you handle a situation where an invoice is missing a purchase order or receipt so the answer would be, I would immediately contact the relevant department to obtain the missing document. In the meantime, I would keep the invoice on hold to prevent payment until all required documentation is complete. Uh, let's go to the third question. Can you explain the purpose of aging report in accounts payable? How do they help in managing payables effectively? Aging reports categorize outstanding invoices by their due dates. This helps in prioritizing payments, identifying potential issues, and managing cash flow efficiently. Here is the fourth question. What is the vendor master file and why is it essential in accounts payable? A vendor master file is a database containing information about all vendors. It's a crucial for maintaining accurate vendor data, ensuring compliance, and facilitating communication between organization and its suppliers. Describe the process of reconciling vendor statements. Why is this important? So the answer is, reconciling vendor statements involves comparing them to the organization's records to identify any discrepancies. It is vital to uncover errors, prevent overpayments, and maintain healthy vendor relationships. Here is the next question. How do you handle multi-currency transactions when processing invoices and payments? I am experienced in handling multi-currency transactions. I consistently update exchange rates, record transactions in the respective currency, and reconcile the financial records accordingly. What measures do you take to prevent fraudulent invoices or payments? So the answer is, I employ strict controls such as verifying vendor information, validating bank details, and requiring multiple levels of approval for large payments to prevent fraudulent invoices and payments. Eighth question is, can you explain the concept of early payment discount and how do you take advantage of them in accounts payable? The answer is uh, early payment discounts are incentives offered by vendors for prompt payment. So I actively monitor due dates and take advantage of these discounts to reduce the cost and improve cash flow. How do you handle sales tax and purchase tax in the accounts payable process? I ensure accurate tax compliance by validating tax rates, applying tax codes appropriately, and maintaining detailed records for reporting and remittance to tax authorities. Compliance is a top priority to avoid penalties. At last, we reached the last question. Can you share an example of a time uh, when you had to handle high pressure situation in accounts payable? And how did you manage it? During a year-end audit, we faced increased scrutiny on our accounts payable records. I maintained composure, collaborated closely with the audit team, and provided accurate and timely information. This experience strengthened my ability to handle high-pressure situations effectively. Thanks for watching and if you find the videos are beneficial to you, then give like, comment and subscribe to motivate me to upload more videos. 
Also, don't forget to press bell icon so that only you will get notifications of my new videos.